So our first league season with Sunderland EFC is over and if you're just here to find out exactly what happened, we won the league. 102 points after 44 games, 32 wins, 6 tries and 6 defeats. Uh, an absolutely huge season from us. The second half of the season was absolutely tremendous. We played exceptionally well and we are in the championship. So if that's all you wanted to see, see you later. For those of you who want a little bit more information, let's crack on. Penaranda did end up getting top goal scorer with his 22 goals for the season. He started the season on absolute fire, scoring seven goals in four games in the very start. And then things sort of dried up for quite a while. He turned it around, um, particularly after January. But um, a little bit disappointed he only got 22, to be quite honest with you, because he's far too good for this league. Isaac's success as well, get 19 goals in uh, third place in the top goal scoring charts was fantastic from that left hand side. He was no, he was one who started slowly but then picked up as the season went on. Chris Maguire benefited most from our tactic change which we did maybe a couple of months into the season. Playing in behind the striker, averaging a 7.46 over the course of the season. He got 10 goals, 17 assists from attacking midfield and I'm releasing him. <laughs> Just a little preview for next season. Uh, Penaranda ended up coming in second in the average rating charts and obviously Chris Maguire finishing at top of the assists. Other major things that happened at the club, uh, we did get to taken over, which has led us to actually have an £18.5 million transfer budget for our maiden championship season. I'm very happy with that, I'm very pleased, and I anticipate us doing, being able to do a lot of good things in the summer transfer window for our start of our championship campaign. In terms of the major games, we're talking the, the two games are dead against Doncaster Rovers, if you missed them. Obviously, you're going to have to filter through the streams to end up finding them. But the first one was an absolutely crushing 3-0 away defeat. Uh, the back end of December, just before the January transfer window. And uh, just thinking about this game, just it irritates me. We should not have got beat 3-0 in this game. Uh, we created just as many chances as they did, but they were far more clinical. And they were 3-0 up before halftime. Um, we were joined on points with Doncaster before this game, sitting top of the table. And it's fair to say... Getting beaten this game put us under huge pressure. We did have our revenge. Only a few short weeks later, we played Doncaster Rovers at home. And this game was pretty special. We went 2-0 down in the first half. And I was just bemoaning me. Look, I could not believe Doncaster Rovers were about to do the dirty twice. Will Grigg came on in the second half and changed things around. He got the goal in the 66th minute. Chris Maguire with the goal in the 75th. And then Bally Mumba with a huge goal in the 88th minute. And this game really did ensure that we were going to win this title. This was the turnaround game. This was the game that mattered. And we managed to get through it just about, despite Chris Maguire missing a penalty in the 6th minute. We did pretty well in the Cups. We ended up getting knocked out by Rotherham in the Leeson.com semi-final. Highly disappointed. I wanted to win this trophy. My board weren't bothered about it, whether we got knocked out in the group stage or whatever. They wouldn't have cared. But I wanted to win it and we got knocked out cruelly on penalties. We did have a magnific magnificent FA Cup run, in my opinion. We beat Portsmouth, one of our league rivals, in the first leg, uh, first round. away from home as well, 4-2. Smashed York, as you would imagine, 8-0 at home. Beat Championship opposition Nottingham Forest at home, 3-1. We drew away from home against Premier League Aston Villa, 0-0. Then we beat them on home soil, beating them 2-0. Bally Mumba and Denver Hume, our two academy graduates who we heavily focused on this year, uh, getting us the 2-0 win. But then cruelly, we got knocked out 6-3 against QBR. 6-3 makes it seem worse than it was. We were chasing the game. We were very attacking. Everybody was bombing forward. Denver Hume and Penaranda with two in this game. Just unfortunate we couldn't make it that one step further. Um, it would have been nice to see if us could get to a Wembley, a Wembley day at some point, but wasn't to be this season. In terms of the transfers we did make this season, uh, Thiago Lopez, Mazar, Lars Dendonka, Prince Odomusu and Prince Doyle were all players who were just getting signed for our under-23s. Particularly the likes of Mazar has got very good potential. But um, likely we won't see much of him for a couple of seasons yet. Penaranda and Isaac Successon, who we've already spoken about, were the main players. We're paying 3k per week for Penaranda in League One. It was absolutely tremendous deal. And Isaac Success was getting 9k per week from us playing on that left-hand side. And he had a brilliant season also. So our board's expectations for next season are that we finish mid-table in the Skybet Championship. So we've got a huge amount of work to do over the course of this summer. I will be doing some of it off-stream. But next time I am live... Get yourself subscribed, turn on the notifications, and please help me. <laughs>
mid-table in the championship when you're a newly promoted side isn't an easy feat um, but I'm hoping it's one that we can do but as I said if you have been enjoying the streams get yourself subscribed turn on the notification bell so you can see when I am live get interacting in the chat and I hope to see you there but if you have enjoyed today's video consider leaving a like and as I said get yourself subscribed for yo-yo man Sunland streams the lot and until next time take it easy